In this video, we shift our focus approximately 5,000 kilometers southeast of Kiev to a region where tensions are once again escalating between India and Pakistan. The ongoing aerial conflict between these two nuclear-armed nations remains murky, clouded by conflicting reports and speculation. However, recent images surfacing online have shed light on the situation, revealing losses on both sides. Stay with us as we uncover the details behind this intense air clash. On May 7, 2025, several media outlets reported the alleged downing of an Indian Air Force Rafale fighter jet by a Pakistani J-10 aircraft using an air-to-air -air missile. Wreckage believed to be part of the downed aircraft was discovered near Punjab, approximately 20 kilometers from the Bathinda Air Base, home to India's Rafale fleet. Video footage and images from the scene indicate that the wreckage belonged to a single-seat Rafale EH, serial number BS001, operated by the Indian Air Force. In the midst of clashing narratives, U.S. officials told Reuters that a Chinese-made Pakistani fighter jet had indeed shot down at least two Indian military aircraft on that day. Adding to this, debris from a PL-15E, a long-range active radar-guided air-to-air missile made in China, was photographed in northeastern Punjab, confirming its use in the engagement. The missile's presence near the Batinda base further supports claims of a successful Pakistani strike. Just a day later, India TV reported that an F-16 fighter jet of the Pakistan Air Force was shot down by an Indian surface-to-air missile system during an evening engagement near Pakistan's Sargoda Air Base. With precision strikes executed using Rafals armed with scalp cruise missiles and hammer bombs, India has showcased not just intent, but also capability. These jets faced Pakistan's F-16s in the skies, reviving old comparisons now set against a dramatically altered tactical backdrop. So, how do these platforms stack up against each other? Let's break it down. Pakistan's defense minister, Kawaja Mohammad Asif, confirmed to Reuters that three Indian Rafale jets were downed by Chengdu J-10s. These Rafales, newly acquired by India, are French-built, 4.5-generation multi-role fighters developed by Dassault Aviation, capable of performing air superiority, ground attack, and electronic warfare missions. India received its first Rafales in July 2020, under a 2016 deal for 36 aircraft, born from the medium multi-role combat aircraft program initiated in 2004. The Rafale's strength lies in its advanced weaponry, notably the Meteor missile, an air-to-air -air missile with a beyond-visual-range capability exceeding 150 kilometers and a no-escape zone of 60 kilometers. In contrast, Pakistan's F-16s carry AIM-120C-5 AMROMs with a maximum range of approximately 100 kilometers and a narrower kill zone. Operationally, the Rafale outpaces the F-16 with a combat radius of over 1,850 kilometers and the capacity to conduct five sorties per day, owing to its streamlined maintenance requirements. Pakistan's F-16s, on the other hand, have a combat radius of around 1,390 kilometers and typically manage only three sorties daily, limiting their long-term operational sustainability. In terms of radar systems, Rafal is equipped with the RBE-2 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, capable of tracking over 40 targets simultaneously at ranges beyond 200 kilometers. It also incorporates low observable features to reduce radar signature. Meanwhile, Pakistani F-16s are generally fitted with older radar technology, including mechanically scanned or shorter range ESA radars with maximum detection capabilities of about 120 kilometers. Altogether, the Rafale holds significant advantages in long-range engagements, electronic warfare, and multi-role versatility. With these capabilities, the Indian Air Force currently enjoys a technical edge in any sustained aerial conflict. Furthermore, U.S. export restrictions on Pakistan's use of F-16s further diminish their utility in prolonged combat scenarios.
F-16 is one of the mainstays of the Pakistani Air Force, which has Chinese and French fighter jets. Previously, Pakistan was prohibited to use their F-16. Pakistan is bound by an agreement with the United States that limits the use of F-16s to specific purposes, such as self-defense and counter-terrorism operations. The use of F-16s in direct conflict with India is considered a violation of this agreement. The United States has strategic interests in South Asia and seeks to prevent an escalation of conflict between the two nuclear-armed countries, India and Pakistan. Therefore, the U.S. has imposed restrictions on Pakistan's use of F-16s to avoid escalating tensions in the region. Because of these restrictions, Pakistan has preferred to use Chinese-made fighter jets, such as the J-10C, in military operations against India. Hence, in the recent conflict, Pakistan claimed to have shot down several Indian fighter jets using the J-10C instead of the F-16. Both the Rafal and the J-10C are categorized as 4.5-generation fighter aircraft. The J-10, also known as the Vigorous Dragon, was initially offered to Pakistan in 2006. However, interest in the platform waned as Pakistan focused its resources on the domestically produced JF-17 Thunder. In late 2020, Pakistan renewed its interest in the export variant of the J-10C, known as the J-10CE, which was officially delivered in March 2022. Pakistan framed the acquisition of the J-10CE as a strategic response to India's induction of the Rafal. The aircraft reportedly participated in cross-border operations targeting militant hideouts in Iran in 2024, showcasing its operational capability. As recent tensions escalated, Pakistan showcased both J-10CEs and JF-17s equipped with PL-15E missiles. This is a radar-guided missile powered by a dual-pulse motor, designed to rival the US AIM-120D. With ESA radar guidance and both active and passive modes, it offers enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures. The export variant reportedly has a range of 90 miles, slightly lower than the 124-mile range of its domestic counterpart. The pairing of the PL-15E with the J-10C provides Pakistan with a formidable air-to-air -air strike platform. No wonder Pakistan can defeat Rafal. However, this incident demonstrates the rapidly evolving technological competition between India and Pakistan. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.